welcome back to the show. Now, our next guest in the studio is an actor, fitness professional, and has well established himself in the Hollywood scene. Along with being a beacon of light and positivity in the wellness institution and social media sphere, welcome to the show, Sam Ashgari. Yeah. Yes, bro. Thank you. Guys. Thanks for coming through, man. That was a great intro. Thank you, bro. You deserve it, man. You deserve it. <laughs> now, Sam, um, obviously, the acting side of your life is something that I've been following. Um, I see you doing a lot of uh, like martial art training and things like that. You've done some things with Mel Gibson, uh, uh, one, one of my favorite actors. Um, have you like thought about doing anything else in terms of certain acting roles? Yeah. Is there something that you really want to delve into? Because a lot of people see you as that fitness icon yeah. um, and getting into all of that. But you thought about doing anything like a bit more sensitive? Absolutely. <laughs> That's what I'm here. <laughs> Sensitivity. Yeah. Uh, yeah, absolutely, man. I want to be a versatile actor and I want to showcase and represent, especially the Middle East. And as a Middle Eastern, I feel responsible to kind of represent the Middle East and kind of show that maybe some romantic comedy, you know, I think it's time I'll for see that. You. I'll see you there. I'll see yeah. you there. Easy. That's yeah. the ultimate goal though, acting? Uh, acting, absolutely, yeah. yeah. Sam, uh, we're so excited to have you on the show in case I haven't said that already a thousand times off camera. <laughs> um, we have such a huge Iranian community here in Dubai and I understand that's also the case in LA where you come from. So how has Dubai received you? I understand you've only been here for about three days. You have another week to go. What are you excited about and how has the reception been so far? The reception has been amazing. Yeah. I've been here for two nights and a day. The day is for working out and you know, for work stuff, but at night is when the city comes alive. And the city is Dubai, but it's very Persian and very Iranian as well. We went to an Iranian restaurant, had some good Persian food, and it feels like I'm an hour away from home. Yeah. And that's exactly what it is. So, yeah. yeah, it feels like I'm right at home. Yeah. Well, Sam, it. you know, we've seen you a lot in magazines and in the limelight and, you know, on red carpets, but I feel like there's a lot to get to know about you. What would yeah. people be surprised to know about you? There's the actor and the fitness guru and, and all that that we've seen. What more do we not know about you? He described it, he read it right away, man. <laughs> I think he reads minds very well. Some of his <laughs> very sensitive person. Yeah, this is it. <laughs> yes. And the creative field as well. Yes. I mean, that, that's the thing, like, like social media and that creative space. How have you merged those two? Uh, because you've done it seamlessly well, but has it been a challenge? I've always been, you know, I have always had a creative mind besides being an athlete. I've, you know, I'm a former athlete and I always connect the dots and I come in the middle and that's something that I want to do in the next chapter of my life is to create <coughs> and, you know, becoming a producer, having my own projects as, as well as acting. Mm. So I'm excited for that. Yeah, I'm right. You know what I saw recently on Will Smith's Instagram? He does these special effects. Yes. You know what I mean? And yes. it's, match, it's mixed and matched with, with him as an actor. Have you ever thought about doing something like that as well? Absolutely. Yeah. Why not? Yeah, Creativity do. and, you know, the media and the social media is just such a strong thing right now. And it's very relevant. So that's exactly something that in the near future I'm going to be incorporating. But, I mean, we've, been, we've talked at length about your career, but there are some other things that you are very passionate about, one of them being animals. Yes. I understand that this is a, a, a topic or an area that's very close to your heart, and it's very important for you to really spread the message about adoption and rescuing of animals. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. And that's something that I love. And back to the Dubai and how reception has been. I, my hotel that I'm not going to say which hotel <laughs> for obvious reasons Ash really wants where to I'm yeah. staying at <laughs> where I'm staying at is very dog friendly okay. and that you know it, I love the fact that Dubai has uh, been you know the gateway of being so open minded and uh, you know there's dogs little dogs running around and that warmed my heart and I love you know saving animals and I love the fact that we are we it's actually a thing of us needing the animal and never the animal need, needing us. You know, we need them more than It's more so than true. I have a King Charles Cavalier at home, Jake. Jakey, mommy loves you. Yeah. And I'm very passionate about dogs. Love. Are you a dog person or a cat person? I mean, I have one at home sitting and waiting for me. Okay, dog? You know? Yes, oh. absolutely. <laughs> I love <a> dogs. <laughs> yeah. I love all animals, dogs, uh, cats. But those are some things that you could keep at home. Eventually, I want to be able to, you know, have some donkeys, horses, and then you need you know. to move to Dubai because you can have a lot of wild animals as pets over here. Yes, <laughs> that's a whole other discussion. Well, we won't get yes. <laughs> Sam, I mean, I want to talk about dream projects, yeah. but also 
I think there's quite a few roles that you have turned down. And being an Iranian American, and I know being as a you know Egyptian Canadian, there sure. are certain stereotypes that are out there that I like to battle. Is there anything that you would like to give back to your own community, your own home, your own citizens, something that you're trying to do that kind of yeah. kind of creates that full circle. Yes. We as Middle Easterns and you know me representing Iranians, Persians and the Middle Eastern, we haven't had the, the heroic person in Hollywood. You know, we haven't had a Superman, Batman, someone that comes there and saves the world. So that's something that I want to represent, you know, the Middle East and eventually play a character that does that but acting is acting and you have to respect writers and respect the project and sometimes the bad guy is the person that saves the world so there's no turning down <laughs> if I want to play the bad guy I want to be the guy that you know <coughs> uh, saves a bunch of people uh, as well you know but do you have that one dream project that you're looking for? He yeah. just said it. That's the one. It sounds, is it, this is it's it? Like, it's like that Will Smith movie where yeah. he's the superhero. Yeah. You know what I mean? But he's... But he's the, 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 Hancock. The, Hancock. Yeah. You yeah. love Will Smith. Yeah, this yeah, is it. I, the Will Smith the references. But I see right? you as that. Who would be yeah. the woman that would be your like co-star? He had to have that love interest. Come on, tell us. Tell besides, the world. besides me, of course. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. We're casting for it, so you guys are up oh, for it. Oh, come on. you got to tell us who the girl is. She could just be a brilliant actress. Sure, sure. Um, there's a there's a lot of amazing actress I would love to work with, you know, and um, being <laughs> I haven't thought about that. It depends on the role. It really it's yeah. a professional. It, acting is a professional. You don't just pick someone. Based. I don't know. It's just like well, I would love to work with Angelina sure. Jolie. Maybe how, how was exactly. it? How was it working with Zoe Saldana? Because you've done amazing. that recently as well. Yes, yeah. that was one of the projects. Lioness was on Paramount Plus that we did. Uh, we filmed it last year. Came out. It was re uh, received really well. But uh, one of the best things about that project was working with Zoe Saldana, yeah. you know, with Nicole Kidman, with uh, all those amazing powerhouse people being on part of one show, and which turned out amazing. So that was something to learn from these guys and how passionate they could be and how, you know, amazing on time, knowing their lines. And it's just, it's a professional thing. Mm -hmm. So that's, it, it's very inspiring. This is it. You so heard it here, everyone. I think this is the next Arab Superman. Iranian, Iranian. Iranian. Middle Eastern. Yeah, the Middle Eastern. Middle Eastern. Middle Eastern. Eastern. It's a big region. Yeah, yeah. Sam, we have about 30 seconds to go. I understand that you're also trying to dip your toes in the modeling industry. How is that coming along? I try to take my toes out of the modeling industry <laughs> yeah, the and put my feet into the, the acting world. Um, you, know, you know, it's something that you sometimes you have to sacrifice certain things to reach. So maybe after the acting career, that's something that I'm willing to do. Uh, but who knows? Yeah. So we'll see. Maybe there's a Calvin Klein shoot coming. Oh, <laughs> is that a hit? Yeah. Or a <laughs> very specific. Listen, Calvin I don't Klein. like to dip my toes into things. I like to cannonball, yeah. and that's what I did in Lion. I was like cannonball into. That's it. Yeah, I see that, man. Well, so, yeah. we're so excited to see you in all your new projects, and Thank wish you, you all the best of success. Thank you so much for being here. Thank we're excited you, to see you out and about in Dubai, Thank and you. for being on a show. But before we let you go. I want to get to know you just a little bit more. We've Let's got see. something called DX Bean 60. I'm going to send it over, send the spotlight over to Ash. Right, Amazing. Sam. So DX Bean 60. Okay, in 60 seconds, you need to answer as many questions as possible. Uh oh. All right. Okay, you ready for this? <laughs> no. No? Well, yes, let's go. <laughs> All right, your time is three, two, one. Let's go. If you weren't an actor, what would you be doing? Uh, serving animals and saving animals. Your motto in life and work? be inspiring to people that may come from where I did. If you could choose one superpower, what would it be? Morning? Oh, sorry, that's a different question. Yeah. Just one superpower? I would choose teleporting. Morning or night workouts? Both. Uh, go to cheat meal. I have to answer a very cultural. Yeah question kebabs oh yes of course <laughs> go to holiday destination dubai yes hey. good answer <laughs> ultimate movie role you'd like to snag james Wan. if you had to choose between familyhood or hollywood familyhood last thing you googled we can't talk about that 
<laughs> okay. I think I Googled yes. uh, where I could find uh, popsicles in Dubai. Yeah, I yeah. thought you'd see the best Iranian restaurants. I know, me too. <laughs> yeah. Okay, your time's up. So, but one last question before you go. Why Dubai? Why do you choose to come to this city? It's my first time to the Middle East. And yeah. Dubai does it the best. And, you know, I wanted to see for myself and how they do it. And here I am. Yes, this right. is how we do it. Sam, thank you for coming through. <laughs> thank um, you. I know your birthday is coming up. Mine's also coming up. I'm an honorary Persian because uh, my birthday is Nauru's. Absolutely. So, uh, You're automatically a Persian. Thank you, my brother. You Bless us. See you soon, man. Absolutely. Cool, man. Right, there we have it. Now, our roving reporter Shah here is checking out Karim Mortranji, which is our performer today at Al Sakal Avenue. We are at the fridge in Al Sarkal, this time with Kareem Motraji. Kareem, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. It was a pleasure being in this show. Pleasure is all ours. Thank you. Uh, tell us a bit more about yourself. How did you get into music and at what point did you say, this is what I want to be doing for the rest of my life? Okay, so this started actually when I was a kid at school. I was always at the school's choir and so on. Then I'm taking solo performances and then started listening to music more and more, singing, singing, playing a bit of a piano and so on. It started making the dream get bigger actually and this is where I am now. Look at you today. And who would you say were some of your biggest musical influences growing up? Actually, there are some and mainly Arab singers like um, Rahbanis mainly, Fairuz. Uh, there is also Abdel Wahab, which is Egyptian and he is like very good. I'm so much into oriental music and Tarab style so that's why I'm influenced by these people. And then going back to our famous Majid Arumi, yeah. <laughs> she's like a legend. <laughs> An icon. And um, when it comes to you releasing your music, can we expect anything soon, anything you're working on that you can share with us? Actually, I'm working on my very first single. I've been working on covers so far, but hopefully by March it's going to be released. Amazing. That's an exclusive here at DXB today. And if uh, people want to get in touch with you, they want to follow you on Instagram or see you perform live, where can they find you? Okay, I'm going to be posting everything on Instagram, whether my performances and other stuff. It's follow me at Karim Mutraji. Karim, thank you so much. And guys, stay tuned towards the end of the show as we'll have Karim perform for us live here at The Fridge.